We've talked about background. Now let's get on to footprinting and reconnaissance. And what we want to do is make sure you know what footprinting is, what reconnaissance is, and the different types of both, and the difference between passive and active reconnaissance, and different tools and methodologies, and what competitive intelligence gathering is. So here are the topics. We'll talk about the concepts, the methodology, the tools, the countermeasures, and pen testing. So let's start with what is footprinting? Let's talk about concepts. Footprinting is all about collecting as much information as possible ahead of time so we can try to break into the network. It's your very first step in planning your attack. We gather publicly available information, but it's sensitive. So it gives us a map for breaking in. It gives us knowledge of the organization's security posture. In other words, how likely are they to be secure? It narrows down our focus to only what we need to be looking at. We can identify vulnerabilities or potential vulnerabilities. Uh, we can outline the target's network and their network infrastructure to look for a place to get in and construct a network map. Passive footprinting, this is all about um, gathering something without them knowing. So you do not interact directly with them at all. You do online searches. You get uh, publicly available information. You are not doing in anything that is going to attract their attention at all. You're anonymous. So there's no direct interaction. You use search engines and you search for domains and subdomains. Remember, domain is something like Microsoft.com. And then subdomains are like sales.microsoft.com, eastcoast.microsoft.com, westcoast.microsoft.com. You get physical location information. You find out about the people and their financial information, the details of their infrastructure. If they subscribe to any kinds of alerts, um, have they been talking in groups and forums and blogs? Get in, uh, competitive intelligence on them. Find out about their reputation online. Look in social media and social networking and social networking groups and forums. Active footprinting is where we're actually going to interact somehow. We're going to query servers. We're going to query DNS. We're going to try to um, look at published documents and extract the metadata out of that, which will generally identify people, which we can target in social engineering. We might copy their whole website slowly and then work on it offline. Uh, we'll do a who is or a trace route or social engineering, but not really um, obvious social engineering. So the key objectives, we need to know what is their level of security. And we want to reduce how much we're focusing on, so we're only focusing on what's relevant, and begin to identify their possible vulnerabilities, begin to draw a network map, begin to identify possible attack vectors. So we'll collect network information, domain names, network zones, IP addresses, websites, um, TCP IP services, access control, uh, network protocols, VPNs, um, any IDs that people are using, any telephone information, their authentication mechanisms, any system information. Um, we'll look for operating system versions and service versions and users and groups and, and uh, service banners for systems or services and route tables and SNMP information and system architecture and remote systems, the types of systems, and the names of systems, and their passwords. We'll look for employee information and website details and company directories and location information and addresses and phone numbers and HTML source code and security policies and web server links and the background of the organization and any press releases and news articles on them. So those are the footprinting concepts.